Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Mael. Uh, I'm the co-founder uh, of uh, Biped.ai. I was uh, lucky enough to already be here last year uh, and to the Envision team and the Vartimius fund um, for the organization of this event. Um, so Biped is a mobility technology. Um, our first product is called NOAA. Uh, NOAA stands for Navigation, Obstacle, and AI. So it's a mobility vest for people who are blind or have low vision that complements the use of white canes and guide dogs. Um, the main product that I'm wearing on my shoulders right now is, uh, for those of you who cannot see it, I'll just go ahead and describe it. So it's a mobility vest. Uh, you can think of it as something that has a left part on the, on the chest that has cameras. So we have three cameras that have 170 degrees of field of view. A computer on the right-hand side uh, that has some controls, uh, so that sits on the right-hand side of my chest, and then a battery behind the neck. Uh, they're laid by flexible straps, so it kind of fits in on every type of chest. The aim of NOAA is to provide audio instructions to the person who's wearing the device. Um, and to just describe what the device does, let me just tell you a quick story of how we came to launch NOAA. Um, so at the beginning of COVID, I, uh, we're, we're based in Switzerland, so I, I came from Switzerland for the event. And the, uh, I met someone who was using a white cane, uh, but was also doing a FaceTime call to a friend while heading to the ophthalmic hospital in Lausanne. Um, and on FaceTime, the person was telling him, you've got stairs on your right, so just uh, keep your distance. Okay, continue straight, next intersection, turn right. So a lot of avoiders, then GPS, and then the last mile challenge, which is really to find the door to enter the building. So the person was describing where the door to enter the building was actually located. Uh, I thought the person was using a cool app that could do all of that. Um, and it turns out it was just someone on FaceTime. And I thought about the types of things that could be created. I reached out to the ophthalmic hospital and they mentioned that um, the criteria would be, yes, there are very cool stuff to be done with computer vision and with cameras these days. You needed to have a very wide field of view uh, because the person cannot always point at the object that they're looking for. So if the door is to their far left, you need to be able to catch that to enter the building. You need to have day and night vision. You need to be able to identify drop-offs and holds. Uh, and you need to leave the ears free the vast majority of the time to never overwhelm the user. That's kind of the criteria we started with. And so we came up with something um, that basically has a field of view of the cameras that has 170 degrees by 90 degrees vertical field of view. And that complements the use of white canes and guide dogs. So it leaves a full spot for where white canes and guide dogs are located. Um, I have a pair of seaters also. I'm just going to give that a try. So when I start it, basically, I'll put the speakers on something that is a bit louder. That would be the type of sound you'd hear when you're getting closer to an obstacle. So the beep is the kind of sound you have. And then as you move away, you have no sounds. So that kind of means the path ahead is completely free. Now, the things we integrated to look for that kind of last mile challenge, to look for something that is quite interesting. For example, my GPS tells me I have arrived at my destination. You can look for a door specifically with the buttons on the side. But I can also just tap and get a short scene description. Um, so that one is running on the cloud to be clear. So this is a Gemini model. Um, and this one is just going to... You're in a large room with many people seated. To your left, there is a small table and some equipment about two meters away, followed by a wall about five meters away. Straight ahead, at approximately... Put that in pause because I think we're all going to run demos of like generative AI stuff described in the scene. Um, but the main idea is really that we seek the complementarity of the various features. So the GPS is guiding the person turn by turn. The optical detection is keeping the person safe on the segments. And as the person arrives to a destination, they can look for a door, they can look for a bench, they can look for a bus stop, um, and trying to have everything integrated. Now, this is not a device that aims to do everything. This is by no means a replacement. Uh, this is by no means something that people would rely on 100% uh, of the time. This is a, an additional layer of information. Um, by experience, we've produced over 100 to date, uh, and we're kind of growing the regions where we launch Biped. Um, and the idea is really to kind of understand the use cases. And we're slowly moving from people using it on paths that they know by heart to actually having the first people who say, hey, I actually took a walk to that park that I just heard about that just opened close by my place. Uh, and it was a fun ride to be able to go to the park, get a description and come back home. So just to set the realistic expectations, uh, this is also our learning from the market. Right. Thank you very much.